and whatever <laughs> happens in the week comes from the seven. There's no such thing as a Shabbat which repeats itself. The Banyashinada made a certain amount of Shabbat. In fact, in Briya, there are 600,000 Shabbat. Can I get 600,000 Nishamas? Because there are 600,000 Nishamas by me. And if there's more, there are divisions and subdivisions. But that's how, how they are. And everybody has his Shabbat. Sometimes you experience a very, very, very special Shabbat. It's maybe an indication that this is your specific Shabbat. And each Shabbat derives its uh, Kedusha from the Sabbath. The Zaya says that you're not allowed to mix up Sabbath, even one person. If it's past, if it's Pasha's for Eva, you can't go into Bun or start or start from Shmoy. Suppose you have a suppose you have a lot of uh, guests uh, in the Shul. Uh, there are three Eifros and two Bris. So you have to give everybody an Aliyah. So you give so make a three second piece and you have, and you're missing some circle. Go to the next side of that. What's wrong? No, you can't do that. Each Shabbos has its its service. So uh, and the Magnavon brings it down the Habach. This Shabbos is a very special Shabbos. It's the Marcus of Yetzias Messiah. Um, I don't know how you should understand this. We don't speak uh, big, high things. But sometimes, just something simple, a little smattering of something more pneumious. Uh, when Rabbi Yisrael created the world, he made it, says the Mishnah in our race, with Asara Ma'amaris. Ten Ma'amaris. Um, everything in the world consists of these ten mamarites, or some of the ten mamarites, a combination of several mamarites. In Kabbalah, Lush, you call that spirit. But we, can't, we won't go into it. Um, these, um, so, Adam is made from all the Ma'amarites. When the Rabbani Shnada made Adam a Rishon, he said, Na'asa Adam. Let's all make Adam. Every, the Ramban talks about it, every Prat in Briya contributed to Adam a Rishon. He consists of everything. Therefore, he controls everything. All the animals, he controls. He controls the seas. He controls the heavens. He controls everything. The planets, as our generation has seen. We move in the land on the planet. Adam controls everything. No animal in the world, not even a monkey, who is the most um, intelligent animal, comes anywhere close to Adam. Um, <clears throat> the Dayahaslaga wanted to control too much. They wanted to invade the sky. Let's make a migdal all the way up and go into the sky. So the banish them by Yafatashem Aitam. And what did the Dara Flaga become? The Madras says monkeys. 
they became monkeys. If you go to the zoo, of course, when Rabbi Mishael made the world, he made a monkey and Shaisha's vibration. But when you go to the zoo and you see a monkey, <coughs> he may be a descendant of the day of Lager. Because they wanted to be superhumans. So the Rabbi Mishael made them a subhuman. <laughs> a monkey. In scientific lotion, a monkey is called a primus in the same category as the human is. Well, as far as the scientists are concerned, uh, well, uh, according to the Atacos and among the scientists, uh, people come out from monkeys. So the scientists perhaps also come out from monkeys. But, um, they're closest to humans. And um, <clears throat> when the Gemara speaks about uh, uh, imitation, making an imitation, so the Gemara speaks about a kaif adam, a monkey imitating a human. So, uh, so anyway, the Rabbanisha made the world in ten mamaras. And he and um, Adam Rishen has, uh, uh, prepares his food. No other animal prepares its food. They eat ready food, even the monkey. <clears throat> the monkey will eat bananas and oranges, whatever he finds in the trees. But the monkey... The monkey never boiled a cup of tea, or he never ate an ice, or he never made himself an ice cream. The same in monkey of Shashis and Ibrahim, or of the Daya Plaga. No animal can progress. Adam Arishain, Adam could progress. Every generation, Adam Arishain pro uh, progresses more and more. And they build on the knowledge of the previous generation and they go further and further. And they make themselves more comfortable and more comfortable. And they make themselves more, uh, more uh, confused and more confused. Because they don't use their chachma for, uh, uh, for, for a good productive inyanam. They use it in the pursuit of money, pursuit of pleasures, so they get themselves into trouble, and they overeat, and they get obese, and they, uh, and they, uh, and whatever, and, and, they, and they manufacture their own destru destruction with all the, uh, the atomic uh, uh, weapons and everything, nuclear weapons, and they and they think that they're free to do what they want and actually every generation as they get smarter and smarter it's 5 p.m they enslave themselves more imagine 200 years ago a person was so free he went to work came home ate supper uh, slept through the night he had Manusa. Today, nobody has Manusa. Nobody has Manusa today. With all the new inventions, uh, uh, he had no Manusa. The cell f the first, the, f f the phone, then the cell phone. A person 200 years ago could come home and he's liberated. He's finished his work. And then he comes home to, to a home of Manucha. Then a certain guy, uh, Alexander Graham Bell, made a telephone. So even when he comes home, he has no Manucha. He has telephones. And, and, and many of them are business telephones. So when he comes home, he didn't finish his business. This is not natural. 
the title says, Yay, Jadam, the Farley, the Rabbi, the Sayyid, they earn it. Well, I have a telephone at home, but I refuse to have an ID or, or an answering service or anything. I don't go around as a cell phone because I think that anybody who does go around as a cell phone is not allowed to make a brach in the morning, shalayat on the other. He's enslaved. He hasn't got a moment's menucha. No menucha at all. Uh, uh, anyway, I, I went off on a tangent. But, uh, but, uh, 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 Adam, uh, uh, being that he's smart and productive, and he is industrious, and he is original, so Adam Arishain was told to prepare his own food, make himself a special food like a productive person, don't eat grass from the field like the cow. Don't eat the banana from the tree like a monkey. Make bread. Lechem. Lechem shows that he's an Adam. And um, it says in Shulchan the Mechaba brings it down to Shulchan Why are there 10 words in Hamaiti, in the Baruch of Hamaiti, Knaged the Asara Mamavet. Because Adam Avishan consists of all the Asara Mamavet. Their the Mamavet are divided in in two sections. Maichin, uh, intellect, Mayach, and Midai, character. So, uh, even though we're not in the Kabbalah, and we don't study Kabbalah, and I can't recommend any English Kabbalah spell to you, but on Tfira, we all do uh, say something about Kabbalah. Uh, we say the first night, Masha began to Tfira Chesed, Shiva Chesed, and then Gvul, and then Tiferet. Well, these are, these are the seven Midas. Chesed, Gvul, Tiferet, Netzachai, Yisait, Malchus. Seven Midas that a person has, seven traits, seven characteristics. But above these seven, there's another three, which is intellect. Chachma bina das. Chachma means to, uh, to acquire a t- uh, knowledge. Bina means to be original and built an inventive and built up on that knowledge. Bina comes from the word binyan, you build. The chachm is like bricks. Binyan is, bina is building up, using the bricks to build up a house. If somebody learns Gemara and he learns the material in the Gemara, he learns chachma. It means the items, chachma, kayachma. If somebody is mechadish in Taira, he says a chiddish in the Gemara, that's bina, he builds, he makes a binyan, he understands. And then there is da'as. Da'as is the bridge between intellect and midas. Using da'as to know when to apply which midas. Every animal is made from one of the spheres, from one of the mamares, or a combination of the mamares. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, a sheep is made from the meat as a chesed. A sheep is only chesed. A sheep won't harm you. A sheep won't bite you. A sheep won't kick you. Therefore, a, therefore a sheep is an animal of chesed, and Klav Yisrael is compared to it, Sep Zuran Yisrael. Uh, then after chesed comes Gevulva, strength. A lion. The sheep is made, the Rabbani Shalom took one mime and made the sheep out of it, with a little mixture of other components. The lion is Gevulva. 
גבורה, אז בגמטריה אריי. אריי, אדי אייסי, יש ירא, מיירא, תת גבורה, פחד. The lion is pachet. He's not a very benevolent animal. Uh, he is gevulva. And each animal has one or two of the combinations. Adam Rishin consists of everything. So therefore, by animals, every animal has its own traits. Let's say a sheep is nice. A, a lion is fierce. Tiger, a leopard, or the felines. Uh, uh, how are they called? No, felines uh, are, are the cat family, no? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the uh, each each uh, each animal has its own traits. A dog is a mixture of chesed and gvul. He's very nice and friendly, uh, but also very fierce when he has both. Adam has everything in himself. So his food, so you're gonna, his, so his food um, it has everything. Lechem has everything in itself. So Lechem, a mighty Lechem in Aretz, that Brach has ten, uh, ten words. But the Mamare is divided in three and seven. The intellect and the Midas. So, in this week's Sedra, we have seven markers. In next week's Sedra, in Bay, we have three markers. The time doesn't allow uh, to make a, 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 a very intensive study of that. If you are going to analyze each marker, you're going to fit it in to one of the spheres, to one of to, to the Midas or the Maichen. Uh, and uh, by mind celebrations, the Rabbani Shalom created the world. By, um, by, and, and then on Shabbos, the Rabbani Shalom tells us that we shouldn't uh, be Isaac in the Malachis that the Rabbani Shalom created the world with. We don't know what the Rabbani Shalom created the world with. So, the, but in Mitzrayim, we were Isaac and Lamed Tetz Malachis. And then, after Mitzrayim, the Rabbani Shalom tells us to build up a Mishkan, which is the miniature of the world, and the Lamed Tetz Malachis in that Mishkan. So we know what, which Malachis so Shabbos Zeichel Yitzias Mitzrayim and the Zeichel Amayim Sibreishis. It's both. We don't know about Breishis, but we do know about Mitzrayim. By Mitzrayim, Mitzrayim was a rerun of Amayim Sibreishis. The Rabbani Shalom wanted to prove to Yidin and to Mitzrayim and to the world that he created the world. So the Rabbani Shalom again was Isaac and all the ten Mamaris. Each marker is a, a manifestation of one of the Mamaris. And for certain reasons, I can't tell you the reasons now that time doesn't allow, it goes backwards. And it, it, this is very, uh, this is something very. Uh, Fantastic. You can see all the Asura Mamaris in the Ten Markets, but backwards. For instance, the Gemara says that there are ten, the Mishnah says in Abbe that there are Ten Mamaris, but Sura Mamaris never are The Gemara says in Hashanah, if we count how many times it says by Yaimel, the Mind Sebraish is still by Yechulu, we'll only see nine times by Yaimel. The Gemara says, Bereishis nami maimahu. Bereishis is also a maimah. Bereishis means the beginning, the very, the genesis, the very beginning. Bereishis is a maimah. So, the last, the last marker is, 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 uh, corresponds 
but the first mimer it goes backwards. So being at the first mimer is bracious. Bracious means beginning. So the last marker is Marcus Bechayres. The Rabbi Nishleilam smote the um, the beginning of the Bechayr of Mitzrayim, because Mitzrayim they uh, worship the 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 uh, mother of Bechayr. Bechayres. The second Maimar in Bereishis is Vayayim Alakim Yehi Oyam. The ninth, the the uh, the the second marker backwards was the marker of Chayshach, and the Chobin Ayisrael Hayayim, and so on and so forth. Go for the order ten markers backwards, and you're going to see them in the ten Mamaris. And the Rabbanu Shlomo showed, I am the one who created the world. If you didn't see it by my Sebraishis, because Adam Ereshim was born on the sixth day, you're going to see it in the Tzayim. You're going to see all the Tzayim and Mari. So therefore, if you want to have a moon and believe that Rabbanu Shvedim created the world, Rabbanu Shvedim says, In Mitzrayim you saw Briya Sa'ayim. Anyway, um, so this Mamari's, came down in the form of Marcus from the Zion. And also, the Zion says, every Maima was a Rafuel Yisrael. Because whatever happened bad to the Zion, correspondingly, happened good to the Yid. In the last Marcus, when Marcus Bechayres was uh, the, the Mitzrayim, uh, the Rebbeshah killed out the Bechayim, which is the Abay the Zorah of Mitzrayim. And that last marker, the Rabbi Yisraelim announced, B'ni Bechayim Yisrael. You are my Bechayim. It was a refuah to the Yid. And the, and the Yidin were pronounced as the Bechayim of the Rabbi Yisraelim. In the ninth marker, which is the second to last, which is K'naged Yehi Aya, when it was Chayshach for the Mitzrayim, the Rebbeshah made it and they were able to see what a, what a human being naturally does. They saw the oil had done this. They were able to see through the walls and through the closets, and, and they were able to pick out where the Mitzrayim have their treasures. And, and then they were able to say, I know that you have this and this. So, they know all, whatever is hidden by the Mitzrayim, they saw it there earlier. The, let's say, the, 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 uh, seven, the, the, the third from the last was Arba. Arba came from, uh, from the sky. So by the Yid, that's connected to Yirakiya. The third Maimah. Uh, so the Yid um, uh, had a, had a, a, a bracha in this union of Arba. By then there was a bracha. Every market was a bracha to the Yid. Nagaif le Mitzrayim and Rafi le Yisrael. So this, uh, since this week we learned about the Marcus, the seven, uh, uh, the seven Marcus, which starts with Chesed, and next week we learn about the intellectual Marcus, Chachma Bin and Das, the three Marcus, which starts with Bai. So we get in these weeks brachas for these nyan. Now I am. Uh, I will tell you something. I'll, I'll try to be short and concise, but give you a little insight into the sedra. In this week's sedra, we have by the the, the last mark in this week's sedra is bothered. It's the seventh marker. The seventh marker is, is, is 
meet the Shamalusas, the servants. And um, the servants of the Nevites. And next week we start already, we go back to uh, to Chachma Bin and Das. Uh, these are the seven, the, the seven um, Simanim that we have on the Seidah, um, uh, on the Seidah table. You have, on the Kaira, you have six Simanim. And you can see in your Haggadah that the Kaira alone, the silver Kaira underneath, that's the seven. That's Malchus, it contains everything, like Shabbos. And above are the three Matzahs, Chachma Bin and Das. Al Kapanim, so next week we have the three matters. This week we have the seven minim on the seidah, and also the 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 pasuk the parsha starts with the avakais, because we learn out avakais from this week's seder, uh, uh, the four lashonos of Geula, lachin emal of neisel ani Hashem, by tzeisi eschem, by tzeisi the the gaalti. The Tauti and the Lakachti. These connected, these four, these four words, we have the Abakaisis, as the Gemara says now, the So, um, the seventh is Barad. By the Barad, it says, Hayari is the, that, that Maish Rabbeinu uh, warns Haradat is in the Kamdan of Barad, a Hayo, and he gave them good advice. Take all your animals and your personnel into the house. There's going to be a mess. Whatever will be on the field will be destroyed, even the, even the trees. Whatever is going to be in the house will be saved. So the Pasuk says, Hayarius as Dvar Hashem Yav Deparai, Heinus as Avat of Yas Mikneyu El Abad, Basha Loisha Sleba the Dvar Hashem, the Yari is the Bar Hashem. But the devil, incidentally, the devil is also the same as he is as Barat. The Pasik doesn't tell us that, but Rashi says it. Rashi says that the devil was only for the uh, those who aren't Yari the Bar Hashem. And the devil only afflicted those which were outside on the field. But those which, uh, which were taken into the house, they weren't uh, afflicted by the devil. That's what Rashi says. Now we have a cash. We know that the behemoths of the, of the Mitzrayim were all destroyed by the mark of the Bavad. Those except those of the Yorit Var Hashem who, who gathered all the behemoths into the, into, uh, indoors. Which behemoths were saved? Which behemoths? Who's behemoths? The one who wasn't a Yorit Var Hashem had no behemoths. They, were all, they all died out by the devil. And the one who was a Yorit Var Hashem, so his behemoths were, so his behemoths were, were uh, were uh, taken into the house both by the devil and both by the barat. So which behemoth died by the barat? The Yarid Bar Hashem were the only ones who had behemoths. So whose behemoth died by the barat? The also the, I, the, the what puzzles us is if the Yarid Bar Hashem by the barat his behemoths were saved, why doesn't it say by the devil that the Yorit Dvar Hashem, his behemoths were saved? And then, <clears throat> there's another Akasha that we uh, should try to resolve. The, um, the, uh, the in next, in, 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 the, in Pasha's Beshalach, so it says that Parai, that Parai ran after the Yidin to the Yamsuf with his horses and chariots. So Rasha brings the Chazal. Who are the horses that Parai ran, uh, pursued the Yidin by the Yamsuf? 
Where did they have horses from? They all died out by the devil and by the bullet. So the Torah says, these are from the Yorek, the Bar Hashem. So Rashi says that the best of the Mitzrayim is, 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 is garbage. The Torah calls them Yorek, the Bar Hashem, and they still pursued after the Yid. Even the best of the Mitzrayim. Now, Yerat Shemayim is a big thing. The Torah calls some Mitzrayim who gather the behemoths into the house, the Torah gives them a title. They're the Yorei Devar Hashem. If the Rabbi Yishtelein would send a Malach to me, if the Torah calls somebody Yorei Devar Hashem, the Torah calls him Yorei Devar Hashem, and he had the audacity to pursue after the Yid by the Yamsuf, after he saw all the ten Marcus including Marcus Bechai, right? And he still called a Yorit Dvar Hashem? What kind of Yorit Dvar Hashem is, is this? The title of Stam uh, uh, splurges titles? Yorit Dvar Hashem? By Eve, it says that Eve was a Yorit Hashem. By Abraham, Abraham Avinu, by the Akeda. He wasn't called Yorit Dvar Hashem until the Akeda. Ata Yadati ke Yereya lekem Ata. Now I know that you're a Yerei Shemayim, Rebbe said, after the Akeza. So that's called the Yorei Dvar Hashem, that if he goes and pursues the Yidin by the Yamsuf. By the Yam, by, by the Barad, Pavei couldn't take the Barad any longer. <laughs> he couldn't, he wasn't able to tolerate it. So he called Marisha Rabbeinu and says, please, Save me from this burden. I can't take the burden. So Moshe Rabbeinu said, I'm going to go out of the city and I'm going to spread my hands to the Rabbi Mishalayim and, and, and there won't be any more burden. <coughs> so the Pasuk says that Moshe Rabbeinu went out to Yifriz Kapai and the Barat didn't reach to the ground. So the, the, the mother says that the, that as the Barat came down and Maisha Rabbeinu was Mespalayo, the Barat stopped abruptly. So there was still some Barat near the ear on its way down. Those remained in mid ear. And they are still suspended at Hayyim in mid-air. And the Rabbi Yishvad is going to drop that in Lachem Nizgai Gomagig, which is around the corner, probably. Um, <clears throat> so the, the remainder of the Barat is going to fall down by Lachem Nizgai Gomagig right before the Geula Shleimah, by the big Lachem of all the nations, which seems to be brewing now. So, the Ramban asks the Kasha, it's already by, by, by the Svadaya, also a para requested that, that Moshe Rabbeinu should cancel the Svadaya. And he did. But it doesn't say that I go out of the city and I'm going to spread my hands. Ephesus Kappa. And also by the Arav. So, the Ramban says that was a special tefillah. Ephraim is by spreading your hand to the Ramban Yishraim was a special tefillah. Yidin always used to by Shmanasra, spread the hands upwards to be Mikal with the Shafa. Uh, we stopped doing it because the Goyim do it. But a real good tefillah is with Kisas Kapayim. So, uh, but the Ramban doesn't and explain why by the Tzadaya there was no Chisos Kapayim. He just says a special tefillah is that Chisos Kapayim. What kind of a special tefillah is this? Now, the Barat, as I explained before, was the seventh mark. It's the last one in this earth. That connected Midas HaMalchus. 
the seventh. So, um, because it goes up and down, it starts with Malchus, and it also goes the other way around, also Malchus. So, in other words, Dam is Malchus being backwards, and 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 Barad is Malchus if you go frontwards. Uh, both 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 Sadarim are true. Uh, the Ariyakadi says that it works both ways. Al Kapanim, the Barat is connected Malchus. Malchus is Yiras Shemayim. Somebody was Makabal Oil Malchus Shemayim. That's Yiras Shemayim. When when Mashiach will come, the Torah promises us Vay Hashem the Melech Al Kala. Malchus will come down. Yakir Yakir will be able to judge and that's why that's what we're misparul for in Rosh Hashanah. In Hamalach Hakadosh, the whole world should acknowledge the Rabbi Nishlan is Malchus. The similar Chato Hashem levadecha kol matlecha b'atzi and mishkan kvaytecha and anode goyim of a chayin tein pachter Hashem lekeinu. There'll be mitzvah Malchus. Malchus is Yiras Shemayim. So, um. Shabbos is Malchus, the seventh. So that's why on Shabbos we say Yismechu v'Malchus v'Shayn Shabbos. On Shabbos Yiras Shemayim comes down. Does Yiras show me that even though there's a halacha that when you buy tzvua from a ma'aretz, I don't, I, I don't trust him that he took off mine, so it's the mai. And I gotta take off Mainzer again. But on Shabbos, if the Amorites tells me that he took off Mainzer, I believe. Because on Shabbos, he has Yiras Shemayim. Yismuchu v'malachus. It's a Yerushalmi. On Shabbos, he has Yiras Shemayim, and you won't lie. That was the Amorites and the times of the Gemara. So, Al Kapanim, Shabbos is Midas Amorites. The Barad is connected Shabbos. So, when the mark of the Barad came down, Malchus Shemayim came down. Yiras Shemayim came down. So, if Yiras Shemayim came down, so from the time that Moshe Rabbeinu uttered the warning of the Barad, with Moshe Rabbeinu's words already here, and then he spoke about the Barad, already here Shemayim started coming down. So by when the Barad came down, there was when the Barad came down, there was here Shemayim. It, it was raining with here Shemayim. Okay. When the Barat came down, it was it was raining with Yiras Shemayim. Now, since Yiras Shemayim means that the Malchus came down, so what should have happened then? It should have been the man that took him. Mashiach should have come. Yiras Shemayim, Malchus Shemayim. The, the world should have become Shabbos. Barat is the mark of Shabbos. The world should have become Ayam Shikurei Shabbos. The Barat came down. And if the ballot comes down, then it should have been. It, 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 interestingly, the ballot came. The Rabbi Nachman makes the chesed how every marker came down in a certain chesed. Every marker was a, uh, was a certain chesed. A well, marker was mishamish seven days, and then three weeks of like said, three weeks of a third. So every chesed a marker came down. According to the Rabbi Nebuchadnezzar's Cheshben, the market of Barat came down on Shvat. Shvat is Yiras Shemayim. Um, in fact, Shvat is Shabbat. It's a Shabbat is In fact, phonetically, the word Shvat is Shabbat. And the the uh, Israelis would call it Shabbat, which is Shvat. 
it would be part two of the blood. But the is Yaikomagat. Rasha says, um, um, The above didn't come down to the ground. Rasha says those which were in the other in the in the in the ear, they didn't come down. They remained suspended. And the madrash, Rasha doesn't bring down the whole madrash. The madrash says it remained by by Yeshua. Also, some of it came down by the Muhammad Ramad al Malachim. And then the rest will be by Mechem Yisrael Gomagin. By Mechem Yisrael Gomagin, we're going to have the Yerush Shemayim, because the Ashkai is the daylight of the Barat will come down then. So the Gayim will be smitten by the Barat, those who won't have Yerush Shemayim, and we will be blessed with Yerush Shemayim. And there will be Rahafne Tzalecha Kal Veshei Oren, Kor Veshon Vadum Tshuva, because of this Barat, which is Malchai Shemayim, which is Shvot. So, so, uh, therefore, the Maish Rabbeinu, the Maish Rabbeinu was Mishkabo by the Barat. Why did he go out of the city? Why, by, by Tzfadai, he didn't go out of the city. But because he saw that Maish that Pari wanted to interrupt the Yerushalayim, he was Mishkabo that the Barat should come down again when before Mashiach and that the Yidin should get the Yerushalayim from it. The feel of the Maish Rabbeinu wasn't for Pari. It was for the Eden in our generation that the Mayor of Yamainu. So therefore he wanted Christus to Kapaya, the special feeling. A feel of the Eden, not for the Gayan. It was installed for us when the Barat will come down. That that the Eden should do chuva as they deserve to sign, and they should be Zaikha to the Barat, which is, is which is going to remain suspended, and that the whole world should become a world of Yerashanay. <clears throat> so this barak, which was a makkah, the Mitzrayim was of a fool in Yisrael. It gave the Eden a certain amount of Yerushalayim. And then, uh, if the rest will come down by the, uh, in the Chemiz Gaigal Magai, and the Meher of the Yemenu, and, uh, the Shabazana in Ainu, uh, we'll see the remainder of the book, which is the only uh, remainder of the ten markets of Messiah, that are remained. So, being that Shvat is a Chaydish of Yerat Shemayim, the book came down. So, Shvat already starts ushering in Mashiach. And the Mishnah says, Rosh Hashanah, the Echad Bishvat, Bashishana Liyelanai, Kedidrei Bashamai, Bachachana Maimdom, Bachamin Sha'as Nobel. Let's remain five minutes, four minutes. Uh, I'll try to tell you very briefly a certain thing which you should use a lot. The Mishnah. And the, that's the first mission of Rosh Hashanah. Uses a lush which is never used. It. Always we have, when there's Machlaikas of Beishamay and Beisila, we always have Beishamay Yangzim and Beisila Langzim. Here it doesn't say Beishamay Yangzim. It says, Beyechet Beishvat, Beishashon Ali Elon, Kid did Rei Beishamay, and Chachamim say, Machanisha Azzamay. So the Bnei Sassar asked this Kasha. Why it's as different than any other place. And the Bnei Sassar answers the planet. Look at that in the Bnei Sassar. But I want to say, the Torah is open to everybody. My Hashem is also but I don't see that. So, uh, I, and, and, so we, we have a Rishis to doubt. So, I, so I'll do you imagine why it says, Kedidrei Beisham. Lahalacha, What's the difference when it's Rosh Hashanah Because it says, 
the lack of birth and its eternal benefit. Given to Option Tamar Beis, and three, we're sharing a topic of an explanation of the four of the Shavuot of Gula. Given to Option Samach, that's four.